So Parliament's back this week and in addition to a lot of the work that Birmingham MPs have been doing helping get the bin crisis under control, um, the big debate here in Parliament um, which kicked off today has been about what's called the Great Repeal Bill. It's the government's idea to basically introduce lock, stock and barrel um, all the EU legislation um, that we currently have but then take to ministers absolute power to decide what should be taken away. Now we'll be voting against the Great Repeal Bill when it comes to um, a vote on Monday night for a very simple reason. We don't think that giving um, a government which appears to be absolutely useless absolute power to decide what they should keep and what should they should throw away. We don't think that's a particularly good idea. We don't think that giving the government the unfettered power, which is what they want, is a sensible way to get policy right for the years to come. So I'll give you a few updates um, over the course of the next week as the debate unfolds. Regulations may repeal and replace primary legislation, indicating that it is not the government's intention to limit them to technical and non-controversial matters. On that point, my will thank you for uh, my friend is making a, a brilliant speech, but is the, ch is the challenge of this bill not that we used to talk about an elected dictatorship in this country, now what we're pro hearing proposed is a barely elected dictatorship? <laughs> Has she ever seen a bigger gap between a government's mandate and the power that it seeks? Yeah. No, never. And the fact that all the uh, legislation for replacing the functions of the 40 EU agencies is to be done by regulation means that vast swathes from aviation security to medicine safety are going to be done using these processes.